Hello, my name is Justin, and I welcome you to Scott's World SEO Guide and WordPress tutorial channel. Now, in this tutorial, I'm going to be talking about how you can actually fix WordPress site not displaying correctly on mobile. You know, um, that states remember your website actually shows very well on your laptop or your desktop or computer, but then on mobile devices is actually a mesh so we're going to be looking at how you can actually you know easily uh, fix that this means that uh, uh, actually that your wordpress site must show well on mobile phones the reason being that um it is easier for most people to actually easily connect to the internet on their mobile phone since they're already holding it in their arms and, uh, and also in case you don't know the main reason uh, for this decision how to fix WordPress and not display correctly on mobile phone is that um, Google, um, being the legacy search engine in the world now, the worst website that are actually you know mobile responsive. Uh, in case you're wondering what I mean by mobile responsive, it's still, it simply means that your website is showing well on mobile uh, phones. And also, um, it also have an effect on your overall SEO score. Because your SEO score will certainly increase if your WordPress also WordPress website is also mobile responsive and it shows well on uh, uh, mobile phones. Because um, non-mobile responsive sites are actually not you know the well rewarded by the search engines, not only on Google, and also non-mobile responsive site also irritates such as you know it, it doesn't offer well for users to your website when they log in and they see that. Um, the site is not actually showing well, they can't even comprehend anything about you also because it's, it's not showing well. Also, non mobile responsive site will have a higher bounce rate, you know, uh, which is not actually also good for SEO. Uh, people come in, they log into your site, they're looking for particular information, and because the site looks a bit uh, scattered and not well arranged, not looking uh, fascinating, they click the, 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 you know, the, 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 click the go back button. So it has a more higher uh, uh, bounce rate, and that is actually not also uh, good uh, for us. So, but then, uh, not to worry, because um, in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to actually make your website mobile um, responsive by actually uh, one using a good uh, mobile responsive team, and or using an AMP accelerated uh, mobile plugin. You can also use that. These are the two ways I'm going to be showing you in this tutorial. There are actually lots of free mobile responsive teams out there that you can actually use uh, when you're building your website. Uh, when you use this responsive um, WordPress teams, you actually do not need an AMP plugin at all because the, the teams are already mobile responsive. Uh, teams such as Astra, the Astra team, the Navy team, Astra, Hello Elementor, Bloxy, um, Zakra, Nishmag, Futuro, Minimalist, Human. These are some of the best uh, mobile responsive WordPress teams that you can actually use. So once you use these uh, teams in this area of websites, you actually have no issue uh, because they actually work uh, very well. I personally use the Bloxy WordPress team on uh, most of my websites. Uh, Yes, I actually use it because why? It's pleasant fast plus it's lightweight uh, WordPress team and with the latest um, web technologies. It's always been worked on, being improved. Uh, almost every week you get an update to improve it. Um, it's, it's, it's a public WordPress um, template that is actually built uh, with the uh, Gutenberg editor. The mind is clean. It's, and you can use it to create any types of uh, website, be it a business agency, shop, corporate uh, website, education website, restaurant website, a blog portfolio, even a landing page. You know, it actually works so well. Uh, it doesn't really, um, it doesn't only work with the Google Black Editor, it works with some other uh, page builder, especially uh, with Elementor, Viva, and Builder, Visual Composer, and Brazil too. You know, Bloxy is actually very responsive and also adaptive uh, website and that is already, you know, optimized. It's really optimized, it's SEO optimized and it's, it's actually very good also for uh, WooCommerce. It has a WooCommerce built-in. 
so you know for if for those people that actually you know have an e-commerce site uh, i recommend you also try the block saving question what is actually easy to use and uh, configure i have um i have a video on how you can actually install and configure um the block saver press plugin uh, at the end of the day uh, i'll put a link uh, i'll put a link in the description so you can actually uh, get the link to how you can actually install and configure the wordpress plugin the block saver press plugin sorry but then you can actually easily log on to your WordPress dashboard and click on themes and uh, type in block uh, click on add team type in block in your search bar and automatically uh, you see this just click on activate it i'm not going to be talking much on this because i have a separate video that actually focus on uh, full installation of blocks in and how you can make it um, good for SEO. so I'm going to jump right straight into um, how to uh, make your WordPress um, mobile responsive by using AMP uh, WordPress plugin. Now, log into your WordPress um, dashboard and straight to plug it, and you click on Add New. So, right here on the search. Plugin, what you need to do is to type in um, AMP and WP and wait for it to load. Now you can see AMP here, you can see AMP here. There are others too. Um, there are others too. And basically, uh, the one I'm referring to is this AMP for the WordPress with WP accelerated. Uh, mobile uh, pages now this plugin actually have uh, 4,000 active installations as in the day of this uh, tutorial so the next thing you need to do is to click on install then so that it shows activation click on activation so once you do that Take it to this um, page. Take it to this page. So here you are actually expected to choose a lot of basic for beginners or the advanced for experts. So to focus on the basic for now. So we'll click on basic and wait. Okay. Now, this is the basic setup. So, actually, also WordPress, WordPress, also website type. So, uh, basically, your website type okay, is, is blog. You can choose to change it. Yes. So, I have blog here. So, if you want to change it, click there. You sneeze. It's local business, e uh, commerce, depending on where you have. Choose the best version. It's blog, so I just blog here. So that's that. Then it asks where do you need AMP. So you choose where do you need it. Do you need it AMP on only your own page. Check. Uh, do you need it on the um, all your posts only? Then you can decide to change everything. Then you can set up the uh, every other thing here. If you click on uh, do you use custom front page, that means either you're using this particular custom as a front page, or that's all you can set as a front page. But then you can take that off, click on home page, and all this, and uh, as that. So we, we, it means that we want um, AMP to at uh, least to show AMP across all these pages that we've chosen here. Now, here we have your design and presentation. Set up design presentation how you actually want the design to look. So, here okay. once you click on that, you can here, you need to change your logo. The logo size, recommended size is 120 by 90. So, when you click on this logo, you can go to the media library to select the um, logo that you want to use. 
and here you have your uh, global color what is the global color scheme size the global color scheme here once you're done with that so you have the analysis and uh, track it so here you expect it to put your uh, analytics tracking uh, id here let's go to analytics tracking ID here, same one you use in search, search, you can also copy and just paste it here or you type it past. Then your analysis type, which one are you using? Google, is type manager, so whichever one that you choose to use among all this analytics here. You know, Google Analytics, Tag Manager, any one here, Facebook, Pixel, whatever. So you choose it, and you click on whatever you choose, then you click on add when you're done with that. Then you have your privacy settings. Already settings, you want to turn on your Google Notice Bar for your cookie, turn it on, and GDPR for your European privacy regulations, turn it on if you want that. So when you're done with that, then you come here. Now, if you need to install ads, you need to install ads, then you click on um, um, View Setup. So, you have it here. This is a free plugin. You are also asked to install it. You can decide to also click here and install it. I remember we're using a free version of the AMP and WP WordPress plugin. So here you now have add more. You can now go, go on and uh, you know um, place the ad where you want it to be at the same time. So the first on and so the, the basic setting is actually uh, as easy as that. Now for the advanced, um, you have your settings. So it's, what is it for nature? So basically, it, it picks from the main website. It has been you know, um, designed in the first place. And uh, if you need to do a resize the logo here, you can go ahead. Advertisement, you have to say all the SEO. In that description, you can. If you need to turn up your open graph. Uh, Better for your social media, so you can go ahead. Other section if you have the code to paste. So, your SEO, your SEO plugin is right now to see also. It's actually self uh, you know, uh, explanatory. It's actually self explanatory. It's structured data. It's human and social data. data. It's, a blog, it's, it's a blog post. So, um, just click once you click, you go through. It's in, um, about it so once you are done click on your save uh, changes to apply all the changes to your website but remember what i said if you're already using um, a website that is mobile responsive you don't actually need to use this you don't actually need to use it at all um live proxy um are all actually mobile responsive so just choose one that is use that for me I actually recommend that you use the WordPress uh, team that's actually mobile uh, responses so you don't need to make use of uh, AMP. So that's the end of this tutorial. Please do not forget to like this video, share with friends and families, and also uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel.